get it all day Slow it down, let me get a replay The way you just put it on me On me Run it back, run it back, run it back for me I wanna put you on my team Run it back, run it back for me it's your girl, Najwan, and I'm coming in with my February empties. Um, I had so much stuff that I completed in February that I have two bags here. So it's a lot of skincare, hair products, and things like that. I definitely want to do many reviews and then hopefully kind of tell you if I have already repurchased some things. So let's get started by kind of showing you how full the bags are so that's the little small Sephora bag and then I have this great big Marshalls bag that my grandson loves and then as you can see we have a lot of items in there okay so let's pull things off to the side and let's get started I have these Dove baby wipes I use this to just help me remove my uh, makeup. They were on sale for $1.65. I do have two more, and it was okay. You know, they're baby wipes, so they work pretty good. We have the Bolaro face wipes in fresh lavender and citrus. I do enjoy those, and I have repurchased many of those already. This is the Up and Up from Target, I believe. Delicate Flower Cleansing Wash for Sensitive Skin. It was okay. It was something that I wanted to try, but I don't think I will repurchase it. I have something else that I love more. I have a, what is this? Bahama Passion Fruit and Banana Flower from Bath and Body Works. This is a scent my mother loved. I'm going to have to take a picture of this so I can try to repurchase that when I get the opportunity. A Clinique Clarifying Lotion, the 16.5 fluid ounce. This is the toner that I truly enjoy using. Uh, I am using the Origins toner with white tea. That is part of my love right now. So I will be getting rid of this bottle, but um, I will repurchase my Clinique toner. Okay, a couple of different items here. I have the Clinique Take the Day Off Eye Makeup Remover. These are like the to-go sizes. Normally what I do is just buy a larger size and refill this bottle. So yeah, you will see this again after I refill it and use it up. But I do like to keep this for travel size purposes. I finished up a Beauty Secret Nail Brush Cleaner. As you know, I am doing my nails on a constant basis. And this helps me to keep my brushes free and clear of any gel or acrylic. My Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Now, this has settled. I am going to get the rest of that out. But I might as well show you. This bottle is finished. I do have a larger size bottle that I had as backup. I'm not going to keep this particular bottle, but I will get out the rest of that. My Clinique uh, Liquid Face Wash. I threw away the pump because after a while it just broke for me trying to use it in the shower. I do enjoy this. This is the extra large size, a 13.5 fluid ounce size. I will repurchase this, but as of right now, I am using the La Poche uh, Oil Free Cleansing Wash. Okay, this right here, Makeup Revolution 30%. AHA BHA peeling solution it was just time for me to get rid of it it says you can keep it for 12 months and I know that I purchased it last year and um, it was just time to let it go it definitely worked on my skin I liked it but I have changed a little bit of my skincare so that is an item I don't think I need to reuse or repurchase the Pearl Essence Aloe 
and rose water tonic I have finally finished this however I'm keeping this bottle it's a beautiful glass bottle I'm going to clean it out and I actually have rose water that I will put in here because I love the sprayer so this is something that I will be keeping let's go a little faster here I'm going to dump this out and talk about it really quickly I finished up another one of my Lady Mitchum deodorants I truly love this this is the gel uh, brand or gel formula and it is fry, uh, shower fresh this nail brush here I'm going to have to toss I uh, didn't have brush cleaner and I messed it up and in the process I called myself trying to cut it to repair it no it didn't work so we are going to get rid of that nail brush I'm also going to get rid of this nail file I have completely removed uh, most of the particles that will help me use it so it is trash this blade here I brought some of these from Marshall's and I actually shave my face to remove the hair on my face and once I do that I throw away the razor if I'm doing my brows I will keep it for two or three more uh, applications but whenever I shave my face just to remove the peach fuzz I definitely throw that razor away so that is what this is and I do have about 15 more of those this ASP resin this is something that you can use to help apply your gemstones and you can use like a spray nail glue for it it has become solid so it's time for it to go in the trash and that is all from the Sephora bag now let's get into the larger bag that we have here and a lot of this is hair care body care items I have the Redken Extreme Conditioning, well conditioner, uh, this, well this is the shampoo, conditioning shampoo, and um, I enjoyed this, I know it says conditioner there, but it actually has more of a lather like shampoo, it's a conditioning shampoo, I enjoy this, but it also has protein in it, if you can see at the top here, it has protein in it, and I was over processing my hair with protein so it was time for me to stop using that and I think I have other shampoos that I will show you later the Heinz apple cider vinegar I love to use this as a rinse I add water to it as well as the shampoo and I use it on my hair dry before I rinse it all out we have the Dippity Do Girls with Curls. This is a gel. I like this gel. It was pink. It smelled very nice, but it was so lightweight that it really didn't give me much hold that I needed for my hair. You can get that at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I have completed up. A Aunt Jackie's buttercream. My grandbaby is using this and I love it as well. As you can see, it's definitely a nice creamy formula. It is pretty thick and my hair likes it to be a little soupy, a little bit thick. And this is the intensive moisture sealant. I buy this off of Amazon because I can get it for like four to five dollars and this is something that I will repurchase um, what else for the hair the Aunt Jackie's curl la la as you can see I love my Aunt Jackie's products this is the finding curl custard I truly enjoy this I already have another one that I'm using I use it on baby Gigi my granddaughter Ayana as far as my grandson his mom has other products that she likes to use but I will be repurchasing that just to have more than one backup the cream of nature argon oil oil perfect edges I like this because it gives me hold and if I wet my hair down it just reactivates the hold I don't have to apply a lot I like the fact that it is the clear one I do know that it comes in a black shade but the clear works for me okay so let's do these really quickly 
these are some of the oils that I have picked up the international collection if you have not seen my haul video I will link it in the i cards above just to show you that these are lots of the oils that I like to use I have the grapeseed oil sweet almond oil and virgin flaxseed oil I like to combine these all together and I usually use a carrier oil from Jamaican Lang uh, Jamaican black mango oil you guys know what I'm talking about this last little bit that you see in the corner I will be making sure that I pour that into my concoction but these are oils that I love and I definitely have already repurchased those the last three items I can remove that finally I finished my last tree hut body scrub this was Belize breeze it came in that beautiful blue color I truly truly enjoy these but sometimes I have to remind myself to use them I will repurchase but I don't need them at the moment my Rimpour Viva Curl Whip Coconut Light Defining Gel. I can only get this on Amazon. This gel gives me the hold that I'm looking for and it just lasts for days and days. I like to use it over the top of my Curl La La or butter creams to uh, hold in the moisture. But this gives me like a lock of 12. I love it. Last but not least, another Bath & Body Works product. This is the Rose Fragrance Mist. I have decided that if I do purchase from, purchase from Bath & Body Works, I will re repurchase these smaller ones. I do have three other scents, one more of the Rose. I really like these. They last a little longer. You can smell them a little more than the other larger bottles and these are only six dollars and fifty cents which means I can get two cents for the price of one of the larger ones so yeah that is everything I'm going to move the camera up so you're going to see it move kind of crazy but that is all that I have I have gone through a lot of stuff I really hope you guys enjoyed this type of video if you got any questions comments concerns or any of the products that I'm showing you or things that I will be keeping as far as packaging definitely leave that in the comment section below you guys know I love to talk and I will end this by saying to all be blessed wear your makeup save your money and Nunu will see you in a few days with the next video bye Girl, you can get it all day.